been a few months now since we got a hold of this affordable tablet, the Xiaomi Pad 5. It is one of the best options to consider because it provides versatility at an affordable price. The 11-inch Xiaomi Pad 5 with a slim body, premium and beautiful design, plus a powerful chipset. Maboy Manila, this is Pope from ManilaShader.com and this is our review of the Xiaomi Pad 5. Let's begin. The Xiaomi Pad 5 has a thinner body than most smartphones today, measuring 6.9mm thick. The overall appearance of the tablet is premium but stylish, and holding it is comfortable and simple. It is also notable because it is compatible with a magnetic pen, and it has a magnetic contact pin that charges the pen while it is attached to the body of the tablet, preventing it from being misplaced. The back has a frosted glass finish that makes it glossy while preventing fingerprint smudges. When light reflects off of it, it changes colors and our pearl white variant has pink and blue color hues. The design is very minimalist with more space on the back and the module appearing tiny in the corner. Its camera module is similar to that of the Mi 11 Lite and it only has one 13 megapixel main camera, so don't be confused when looking at it. There are just some features that I think this tablet lacks. One is the fingerprint scanner. Most device nowadays comes with a rear, side-mounted, or even an in-display fingerprint scanner. But the Xiaomi Pad lacks that features. Second is the headphone jack. I know some would prefer wireless over wired, but I personally am not really a fan of wireless accessories because I am a bit clumsy and I tend to forget. And I think the most important feature that it lacks is expandable storage. After all, tablets are a media consumption device so it is quite a bummer that you don't have the option to expand your storage in case you have to. Holding the Xiaomi Pad 5 vertically, it has a quad speaker on top and the bottom of the device. We have the charging dock for the pen on the right but it doesn't come with a pen on the box. On the other side, we have the keyboard contacts, on the top side is the power button, and on the bottom is the USB-C port along with the main microphone. I mentioned earlier that it lacks a headphone jack but by looking at its design, they probably did it on purpose to make the body thinner and more appealing to consumers. So there is a bit of a trade-off. In terms of display, the Xiaomi Pad 5 tablet has a large 11-inch IPS LCD panel with WQHD Plus resolution and a unique 120Hz refresh rate found on most flagships. The overall appearance of the front is excellent, the thicker bezels are fine because you must hold the device with two hands, thus it has more space. It appears neat and clean because all sides are the same width. In terms of display quality, despite the lack of an AMOLED panel, the Xiaomi Pad 5 has a Dolby Vision, HDR10, and 10B colors. These are great display features for multimedia and entertainment use. Furthermore, the 120Hz refresh rate provides a very smooth experience and feels more responsive allowing you to feel more at ease when using the tablet. However, there is no adaptive refresh rate so you can only choose between 60Hz and 120Hz so the battery can be an issue especially if you are always on the go. So if you want to extend your screen on time, you have to manually set it to 60Hz to preserve battery life. It is only equipped with a 13 megapixel f2.0 main camera. The camera quality of the back is vibrant and sharp, especially in bright light. The AI enhancement occasionally detects incorrect scenery, causing the white balance to be thrown off. Turning on HDR on the other hand will always result in, in a balanced exposure. When compared to other tablets, the Xiaomi Pad 5 has an excellent rear camera. There is also an 8 megapixel selfie camera that will be mostly used for Zoom meetings or other video conference applications. Camera module placement is quite unusual since most tablets have their selfie camera on the top side of most landscape devices like laptops. Regardless of its location, front camera captures natural skin tones and balanced blacks. The overall quality is excellent, particularly indoors. As for its software and performance, the Xiaomi Pad 5 is equipped with a Snapdragon 860 which is powerful enough to run majority of the games on our list. It performed admirably, particularly in FPS games such as PUBG Mobile and Call of Duty Mobile. You'll benefit from the large screen when using the claw grip technique and the Xiaomi Pad 5 has a responsive touch for better control and aim thanks to the 240Hz sampling rate.
the Xiaomi Pad 5 comes in two configurations, the 6128 and 6256 variants. It runs on Android 11 slap with MIUI 12.5. As for its battery, the Xiaomi Pad 5 has a massive 8720 mAh battery when used solely as a binge-watching device such as on YouTube with 2K resolution and Netflix, it has an impressive battery life and can last more than one day of watching. Using it at full performance when gaming or editing will give you at least 7 hours of screen on time. This means that the tablet can withstand the average daily task of an individual on a day-to-day -day basis. The Xiaomi Pad 5 starts at 17,990 pesos. It is available locally in the country and the tablet is a great value for money. It has the processing power to run even the most graphically demanding games. It has a stunning display and excellent stereo speakers. The Xiaomi Pad 5's versatility is the cherry on top. But in order to fully use the tablet as a portable laptop style tablet, you must purchase the necessary accessories. Still, using it as a tablet provides increased productivity at an affordable price best for home, school, or office work. So that is our review of the Xiaomi Pad 5. Let us know in the comment section below your thoughts about this device. Thank you guys for watching, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell so you will be updated with our future contents. Also don't forget to visit manilashaker.com for more tech news, reviews, and comparison of the latest device. Once again, this is Pope and Babuhay, Manila.